Hi there, gorgeous. I'm coming back to refilm the intro because I have to let you know that I didn't figure out I needed to plug in my mic until the end of the video. So the audio quality is not going to be as good as it normally is for a good portion of the video. You can still hear me, but it's using the on-camera mic, not the mic that is right here. Just goes to show you, I've been on YouTube since 2012 and I'm still making mistakes. So hmm. today I am decluttering my blush and my highlighter drawer because let's face it, it is out of control. And for those who think I'm going to be getting rid of five, maybe 10 products, no, I am deadly serious when it comes to decluttering. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am brutal. And if I'm not going to use something again, or if I haven't used it in the past six months to a year, it's a going in the donate pile. FYI, all the makeup I'm decluttering today is not going in the trash. I donate makeup I don't use quarterly to a local women's shelter that's right down the road from me, and these products are no different. I will sanitize them before I donate them because there's a lot of women who escape domestic abuse situations and they're not able to take all their personal belongings with them. And having something that's as key as makeup can be really helpful to someone's self-esteem. Okay, here is where the audio is going to start sucking. It's not terrible, but now you know. Picking up a palette here from Style Essentials. This is their Dream Glow palette with baked blushes in it. <laughs> Still got my little straggler there hanging out. Great quality, but I don't use it, so donate. Another blush palette here from the RK Kiss brand. You can find this in Family Dollar. Loved it when I first bought it. Don't use it, so I'm going to donate. The Sweet Peach Glow Palette from Too Faced. I did really like this one a lot. I did, but I'm going to donate it, mainly because I really love this blush from Too Faced. It's the Papa Don't Peach blush. It's such a beautiful peach shade on fair skin, so this is one I am going to keep. The Be My Everything Blush and Bronze Palette from the brand Joa. Oh, this is a really hard one to part with. It was so pretty on the skin. Oh. But I haven't picked it up and I have to be realistic. So, oh my gosh, I haven't used these in forever. They are definite donates. Makeup Revolutions, the matte blush in the shade Beloved, donate. Coastal Scents Forever blush in the shade Delicate, another donate. City Colors Be Matte Blush. These are really, really good, but again, I have not used it in over a year, so donate. And this is in the shade Zinnia. I think this one was a little too dark for me, so not really one I'm going to be using again. Another Makeup Revolution Matte Blush here. This is in the shade Fusion. It was a pretty color, but not really one I felt like complimented me well, so donate. Oh, I've been looking for this. See, you see why? I want to have everything in one centralized location because I don't know what I have. L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Blush. <laughs> well, <laughs> needs to be glued back in. I do really love this blush though. What is the color? Innocent Flush, it's such a light peach. So <laughs> definitely keeping, I need to fix it though. Another City Color Be Matte Blush and I can tell you I'm going to donate this one because it didn't complement my skin tone very well. Ooh, you can see why. This is in the shade Blood Orange. Yeah. Another Makeup Revolution Matte Blush. This is in the shade Divine. Another donate, simply because the color is not one that I go for. I think I went through a little phase where I bought so many Makeup Revolution blushes because I was obsessing over them. NYX's Cream Blush. This is in the shade Tickled, and this is such a beautiful color, but this one probably needs to be thrown out, to be honest with you, because it is so, so old. And I will do that. If something is way too old, especially cream products like that, I will throw them out because, yeah, this is along the same lines. This is the Boho Chic Blush from NYX. Same as that one. Very old, so I'm going to throw that one out. Another blush from NYX. This is in the shade Angel. You can't get it anymore, and that's why I'm going to donate it. If I have something that I can't use in tutorials simply because you can't get it, then I'm going to donate it. Because what's the point? Why am I gonna use something that you can't get? One of NYX's baked blushes in the shade Full On Femme, and I did really love this one for quite a while when I first discovered it, but I'm going to donate it. Oh, the Milani baked blushes. I have not used these in ages. 
yes, they are ones that need to be donated also. The Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour. I don't think I ever used this one, actually. I use this one a lot, though. The Dolce Pink one. That one is super pretty. Oh, and Luminoso. This is a classic. I can't donate that one because that's... I'm obsessed with peach blushes, if you haven't noticed. Sleek. Oh, I think I know what this one is. No, I don't. No, <laughs> wrong. Oh, yes. This blush palette was one that threw me for a loop. You remember this one? This is in the shade Take a Cheeky Peek. It had that mustard shade in there that was supposed to be on trend for, I think it was 2018. Yeah, not very complimentary to me. If you're darker than me, oh, yes. Mustard blush would be beautiful on you, but... That's why I'm donating. Oh, an old palette. Oh, one of the Pantone colors of the year from Sephora, back when Sephora did get the contract for Pantone color of the year. <laughs> this is the Radiant Orchid palette, and I do really love this color, so that's a definite keep. And this is another Pantone color of the year from Sephora. This was one I was really bummed about. This was the Marsala palette, and mine completely fell apart. I bought another one before it went out completely, that one shattered too. But I do really love this shade right here and this highlighter is very subtle, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, Milani's highlighter. I had a little bit of a love affair with this one last year. This is the one in Flashing Light. It's part of their Hypnotic Lights collection. Should I keep you? You must, you must. Oh, talking blush, I must keep it. Oh, the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Blushes. I don't remember if these really had a scent. Mm, yeah, it's barely there now. It's pretty well faded. Well, let's see. <laughs> That's what happens when you get PR packages and you buy stuff yourself. You end up with two of the same shade. I really don't think I need two bashfuls. So I think, yeah, this one's brand new. So I'm going to donate that one and keep the one that I've used. Another L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush in the shade Fantastical. I am going to donate that one. Didn't really care for that coral color on my cheeks. Ah, oh, I can see the floor. It's looking promising. One of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. This is in the shade Peach. And I really, 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 really like this one a lot. I didn't care for these blushes when they first came out, but they reformulated them recently and they are 10 times better. So this is a definite keep. Another one of the NYX Baked Blushes. This is in the shade Wanderlust. This is a donate. I used it exclusively for a time, but I'm not using it anymore, so we're going to get rid of that one. The L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush Palette, and I know that they are discontinuing these, so you're not going to be able to get them anymore, so this is a donate. Oh, another palette from Sleek. I do know what this one is. <sighs> yes, this is the Solstice. <laughs> bye bye brush. Solstice Highlighting Palette could never live without this one. If you've not tried this one, it's one of the best highlighting palettes in the drugstore. That one will make you look like the Tin Man, straight up. It's so vibrant on the skin. Milani's Sunlight Spotlight, I don't know, Face and Strobe Palette. Oh, I'm gonna donate. I don't need that many highlighters, I really don't. Oh, Wet n Wild's Pearlescent Pink, and this is brand new, I take it. I don't think I ever used that one, so definite keep. Hard Candy's Honeymoon Blush, yes. This was a blush and a highlighter in one, and I know for a fact they do not make this anymore, so I'm going to donate it. Essence's Satin Touch Blushes in the shade Satin Love and Satin Coral, and these are dupes for some of my favorite Chanel blushes, so I'm definitely keeping those. Tarte. I rarely use my Tarte blushes. Uh, seriously, I never ever do. You know why I keep these? I keep them in the hopes that I'll find drugstore dupes for them to share with you. And I've not been proactive enough in looking for dupes. So I think that may be why I'm going to end up keeping these. This is in the shade Dazzled. This is in the shade Blissful. Oh, that's really coral. Woo. And this is in the shade a shiot. You got me on that name. I cannot pronounce it, but that is the name of it. And that's what it looks like. I've never used these at 
haul. You know what? I'm going to donate the blissful one because I don't see myself wearing that color. Too coral for me. Another Tarte blush here. Oh, I really did love this one for a time, and that's the Exposed blush. I am going to keep that one. Another NYX blush here. This is in the shade Apricot. I don't think you can get this one anymore either, so donate. Don't take a shot every time I say donate because guess what? You're going to be on the floor. <laughs> I don't want you on the floor. Stay here with me. Oh, the Clinique Cheek Pops. I used one of these recently, so I'm starting to go back to them a little bit more. And I have, I think I have all the shades in these. They were sent to me as part of PR. Peach Pop, Ginger Pop, Pink Pop, and Melon Pop. The only one I really don't care for out of all four of these would be Pink Pop. So I'm going to donate that one. Max Azalea in the Afternoon. Oh, that's a hard one to get rid of. It's a blush and a highlighter in one, and it's super beautiful on the skin. I'm going to keep that for personal reasons. More MAC. This is a blush I have been using a lot lately, so I'm definitely keeping it. It's in the shade Stay By Me. Several of you have been asking me what's on my cheeks in recent videos. This is what I've been using. It's a very, very light pink. Barely there. It, hardly shows up on my skin tone, so if you're darker than me, it wouldn't be one for you, but if you're very, very fair, this is an excellent natural looking blush on the cheeks. Too Faced, I have a few Too Faced, yes, a few. These are from the Tutti Fruity collection. Yeah, that one's really bright. Woo, this is in the shade Plumegranate. Never wore it, probably will not, so I'm going to donate that one. Pineapple Sun. It's got a highlighter and what appears to be a bronzer on side, so I'm going to keep that one. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Apricot and the Act. Hmm. Not really my type of colors, so I'm going to donate that one too. All the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. I cannot part with this one. Nope, nope, nope. You can't make me. Mm -hmm. This is a, such a beautiful face palette. A lot of highlighters and blushes in here. So stinking good. And I'm going to say the same about this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette because this is one that I still pick up from time to time and I really love it on my skin. NYX, this is their bronzed blush. Is that right? Yes, it's just a simple brown blush and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. A lot of highlighters here. Okay, we'll start with Wet n Wild because there are so many. Oh, these are limited edition. This is the Sweetest Bling. I never opened it. Probably won't use it, so I'm going to donate that one. Lilac to Reality. Again, another one I never opened, so I'm going to donate that one. The Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy. Yes, I opened that one. I think I really liked it, but how many highlighters does one girl need? We need to remind ourselves of that, so I'm going to donate it. Precious Petals. You know what, they just sent me one that looks like this, so I'm going to donate this one because I like the new one a little bit better. Their Zodiac Collection Highlighting Bars. Now, these were very unique, and I really liked them when I first tried them out, but I don't reach for them, and I would like to give someone else the opportunity to use something like this, so I'm going to donate all of these. Oh, yes, this is the one that Jet broke, although, you know, it's not his fault. This formula is very soft with these Wet n Wild blushes. This is the one in called Don't Flutter Yourself, and he, mainly all of these in the display were pretty broken up like this. I'm going to keep it and attempt to save it. This is an old palette, old, 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 oh my goodness. This is from Estee Lauder. I think it was the first blush I ever bought. Shade Peach Nuance. You cannot get this one anymore at all. Yeah, but you know what, I'm gonna have to throw it out. It's obviously expired and am I really going to wear it in the future? Probably not. Wet n Wild's Loose Highlighting Powder in Written in the Stars, another one from their Zodiac collection. And I'm going to donate this one because like I said, I have a new one they sent me that I really love, so I'm going to replace that one with this one. LA Girls Velvet Blush Contour Stick in the shade Snuggle, and I really, really, really loved this one. I'm gonna keep it. I had some, oh yes, okay, there we go. I was gonna say I had some Wet n Wild cream blushes like that too. What happened to them? But it was right there in front of me. This is the one in Peach Bums, and I'm definitely keeping this one because it's a dupe for the NARS Orgasm cream stick blush, identical between the two, but a lot cheaper from Wet n Wild. 
ColourPop's Never Been Kissed Super Shock Cheek Blush. Not a good color for me. This is one I bought for a historically accurate tutorial, and while it's pretty on the skin, it's too vibrant for my liking. It's not going to be one that I'll use in the future, so I'm going to donate it. But <laughs> ColourPop's Wisp Super Shock Cheek Highlighter, this is a must keep. Along those same lines, the Aphrodisiac Super Shock Cheek Blush. This is another one. It's a dupe for Chanel's Golden Sun Blush, and I absolutely love the ColourPop formula, so that's an absolute keep. L'Oreal's Lumi Shimmerista Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Sunlight. I love this stuff. I've had a couple people tell me when I used it in the past video that it's not my color and I shouldn't be using it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it because I love it and that's all that matters. Oh, my Chanel blush. This was given to me as a gift, so it is sentimental to me, but I also really, really love the color. This is one of the cream blush sticks, number 21. Oh, it's so creamy smooth. It looks beautiful on fair skin. If you splurge on anything from Chanel, this is worth it. Definitely keeping. The BYS Contour Trio. This is one I picked up at Family Dollar, I want to say for $3. Is my mic plugged in? My mic is not plugged. Are you serious? Oh. What the heck? Okay, so now all of a sudden the audio quality got really good. The BYS Contour Trio. I got this at Family Dollar, I want to say for $3. It has a contour shade, a highlighter that's not so great, and a cheek shade. But I love this contour shade and I love the cheek shades, so I'm going to keep it. Down to the last product, the last product, and I couldn't figure out that I had to plug in my mic earlier. Hmm. Anyway, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Sandcastle in Minted Mojito. Oh, yes, yes, I am keeping that for sure. That, if, if you spend money on any highlighters out there, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt ones are worth the money. Okay, so that's it. That's everything. And my, I'm very happy to say that my donate pile is... <laughs> looks the same as my keep pile. Well, at least I'll be able to find things now. That's a plus. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If I declutter again, I will be sure to record it and share it with you. Let me know what you have decluttered recently. Feel free to share below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.